back in my home, Porto. It's a strange city, Queen. Is not a Portuguese word. It comes from before our time. When the kings of Portugal came before our Afans. Man by the name of Achazer was the king there. And he was riding in his lands and he found, or in northern Iberia, there was Christian settlement. They had been settling peacefully there for years before the kings decided that that those who came before us were, were to be pushed aside and take root for the church. But he found there a shepherdess, and there he saw her from afar and wondered to his men, who is this woman? She is fair of skin and fair of hair, and such beauty I have not seen among my own people. And his advisor said, you must not go near. She is shepherdess, she is a Christian, but above all, she is Bruja. You may not, as king, associate with Bruja. Now, Bruja is a word in Portuguese. It means eh, roughly witch, but not the witches that you burn at the stake. Bruja is a term of reverence among my people even today. They are wives, and they are healers and counselors, and they are the ones who spin the magic of joy. So the Bruja, this intrigued al Khazer, the king of Quimbra, the land before our time. We went, and he went, and he ignored the advice, of the, uh, the advice and said, you are beautiful, and I hear you are kind and wise, and would have you to be my wife. She looked at him and said, are you not married? He said, not yet. I have not found my first wife. For the traditions of the people that came before us are to have many wives. For it is a symbol of your prosperity that you are able to support many wives and many children. And she said, I am sorry, I cannot be your wife. And turned and bent back to her father. This irked the king so, but he accepted her word and returned home. But the next day he went out riding, seeking her. And yet again in the same place he found her. And he went to her and said, Your beauty and your kindness and your wisdom, for you have turned me down once and proven your wisdom to me. But I ask again, will you be my wife? She said, I cannot cannot be married to one who will take another. That goes against my faith. She turned and returned to her flocks. al Hazer was frustrated, but determined. And on the third day, he saw her side and went out to her and found her there, again among her flocks in the same place, and said, I am king here, and you will be my wife. And his men took her and brought her back to the palace and put her into the tower where they served her decadence, with wealth, and with fine silks, sweet meats, everything that they could to show that he is well. And he went every day. Have I convinced you that I, will, that I am worthy of to be your husband? Every day she said no. A year and a day passed, and every day he asked. And a year and a day after she took up residence in his palace, he said, I can think of no better gift to you than to say I will wed no other if you will take me as your husband. And then she said yes. They were married in opulence and decadence, that was a celebration beyond all belief. For there, the traditions that even the common may rise stayed in my country. But if you're willing to serve for the greater good, you all recognize. But the day of her wedding came news that the Christian engine of war was coming. And he 
he said to her and said, I wish I could give you more, but we must go to war. We are not prepared to face them. We will lose. Alphonse is coming. She said, well, what will you do? Your people will be slaughtered. He said, no, I will send my people south. There they will find comfort with a cousin in his kingdom. My only regret is that these Christians will take of our wealth. He and his wife, newly made, said, For my gift, I will give you this. Since you care more for your people than your wealth, I will give you the gift of my magic. So as Alphonse was coming, <clears throat> Alhazer went and stood alone to face the armies, having sent all of his people south to safety. And there he fell, defending his kingdom. But she wove her magics. She spun her spells. And when they came to the palace with all of the wealth, could not be found. It had disappeared into the woods that surrounded it. His place, Sintra, you may know of it. It's a magical forest there. And it is true. There is a lost wealth of treasure from the kingdom of Alcazar somewhere in this woods. To this day, it has not been found. But those who go looking, who search for it, who get lost in the woods, they say there is a beautiful woman, fair of hair, fair of skin, Bruja, who, if they are kind, will lead them to the edge of the forest where they can return home. And if they are not, they are never seen. 